In this video, we're going to be sharing with you the third component to any effective defense in Madden 21, and that is the ability to be able to play effective zone drop style of coverages. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden player that they can possibly become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you right now to click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe, and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies going on right here on the YouTube channel. Now, in this video, like I said, we are covering some defensive strategy. And so there's really five key elements to defense in Madden 21. Any successful defense will have this in their defense. They will have a good run defense. They will have uh, the ability to play good zone drop defense. They will have man defense, man coverages. They will have pressure schemes that they can use from all of those style of coverages. And then they will also have a short yardage defense, right? So they're going to be able to stop the run. They're going to be able to play match defense, which we talked about yesterday. They're going to be able to play zone drop defense. They're going to be able to play man to man defense. And they're going to have a pressure scheme that is going to fit through all of that. A common thread through all of that is its ability to get pressure. And so we're sharing that with you today, how to do this from the nickel 335 wide. Now, if you have not already got my nickel 335 wide defensive guide, it is down in the description. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description. It checks all of these boxes. It's the best defense in the entire game. And you can get that entire guide breaking down that defense through written setups, through video breakdowns, and through film study analysis. You can get all of that for just $15. So if you want to get that, that is available in the description. Okay, so what we want to do when we're talking about zone drops is we want to kind of have a starting point. Um, now, this is not to say that these are the only zone drops that are successful. This is just to say that this is a simple starting point. This is a place that you can start with zone drops. And this is where I like to start. I like to start a little bit, of, a little bit more safe. Um, and you can kind of turn these knobs down as you go through your game and as you are experiencing certain things, okay? So if you if you say, well, I don't need to drop them back this far, I only need to bring them back this far, or they're killing me in this area, so I'm gonna adjust. That's kind of how you go about it. But the base that I like to start out with is I like to put my flats on 30, I like to put my curl flats on 10, and I like to put my hook curls on five yards. As you can see here, this is kind of my starting point um, for, a, for a style of defense. And we're actually going to use the Mike Blitz 3 to do this. We're going to make a lot of adjustments to it. Um, we're actually going to turn it into a little bit different of a style of defense. And we'll go over all this with you. Um, you could also just use the cover four if you want to. But um, you, I like, I per, actually, actually, you know what? We are. We're going to use the cover four. We're going to use the cover four show two from 335 wide because it's going to give you a little bit better of a glimpse into what I'm actually trying to accomplish. It's actually going to probably be a little bit safer anyway. So uh, cover four drop, that's what we're going to go with. And uh, as you can see here, I'm in the U trips. I'm gonna move, I'm gonna move the ball over here to the left hash bar so that I'm on the wide side of the field. Um, and the first step that we want to take here is we want to audible down into that cover four show too. So as you can see here, this is the base defense. This is exactly how we want it to look. Now we know from previous experience that if we want to stop the run from this formation, we need to shift our defensive line to the left, and we're gonna kind of user our guy like right in here. Okay, that's kind of how we've, we've learned this. Now, we, what we do is we want to set up our zones. And so here's how we're going to go about, here's how we're going to think about this. To the short side of the field, we are going to be running essentially a cover two style of defense. To the wide side of the field, we're going to be running a cover four style of defense. And so essentially it's cover six. That's really what we're after here, but we're gonna be leveraging a Mabel concept in order to do this. And so this is kind of how it's going to play out. So um, on the cover four side, so like on the wide side of the field in this example, um, we wanna play, and I apologize, I told you wrong. On the wide side of the field, we wanna play cover two. Um, Okay, so we want to play cover four on the short side and we want to play cover two on the wide side. The reason why is if we play cover four on the short side of the field, oftentimes that quarter zone will play very, very effective. And you can flip flop this as you need to. This is just the basic concept that I want you to be able to understand. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put a flat out there, a cloud flat on the right side. As you can see there, I've got him on a cloud flat. I'm gonna put L1 here on a deep half zone, just like this right here. 
And then what you always want to do with the with the Cover Four Show Two specifically is you're always going to have a problem player, like a player that will cause problems for you. And you want to be able to use some man coverage in here. So I like to take the blitzing linebacker over here on the right, and I'm going to man him up onto that slot receiver there, just like this right here. And then the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a little three rep hook zone right over the tight end, just like this. And now on the left side, essentially, I've got to kind of pay attention to the running back in this formation. That's kind of my primary focal point. Okay, so as you can see here, this is kind of how the defense looks. Now, um, I will tell you that if there is no vertical threat, which in this example, there is, there is only one vertical threat, meaning if there are two vertical threats, so the way that that would look, if I, you see here that there's only one receiver on the left side, okay? Now, if I were to motion Lazard to the left here, you're gonna see that now there are two vertical threats, okay? So I could streak both of them. But if he's over here, I don't have to worry about that. And so the reason this matters is because it changes how you're going to play your defense. It allows you to have an extra person playing underneath. And so what we're going to do in this example is we're going to put a cloud flat out there until they motion R1. And what you're going to see is this defense is going to be pretty daggone good, right? They're going to have the little flat underneath, but you're going to be lur lurking pretty much over the middle. So you're going to kind of, your job is to kind of lurk and take away option routes and things like that. That's really your primary focus here is, is you want to try to limit how many, you know, how much underneath over the middle stuff that they can have. But as you'll see right here, we have very, very sound coverage. Now, the beauty of manning up the slot, the slot guy over here on the right side is let's say that they streak square. Okay, let's just say that they, they streak square. At the snap of the ball, I just want you to watch. What's gonna happen here is if I streak the square receiver, you see that the quarter zone is gonna take him. The quarter zone completely takes him out of the play and he's no longer, you know, uh, he's no longer able to do really anything to us. Um, so now what I wanna share with you is, okay, well, what happens if, what happens when we, you know, run a couple of different concepts? So what we're gonna see here is when we go to this cover four show two, we're gonna go down into it here, we're gonna man up on that R1 receiver. We're gonna shift them over, play this little zone right here. Now, again, this is not for every formation. If, they're, if you're facing doubles, if you're facing doubles, you would not do this. You would just run your cover six, right? You would just do this, okay? And let's say we take circle and we put him on a little fade. The beauty of the cover two to the wide side of the field is it actually will do a pretty darn good job there. As you see, it really does push him to the sideline. And I personally actually think the cover two is, is much, much more effective to the wide side of the field than it is to the short side of the field. This is just a personal opinion I have. It doesn't actually make sense, uh, honestly, to me. It's not something that I would tell you is like, you know, obviously this is the truth. Um, it's just something that I've observed. Uh, whenever I try to beat cover two to the wide side of the field, I always run into issues. That deep half always causes a lot of problems for me. That's a click on interception. And so if you, you know, you might want to put, you know, you're a little faster guy there or whatever, but that is almost always very, very successful to me. Okay. Now I want to share with you the inverse. So let's say that you don't agree with me and let's say you want to do a different style of coverage. I completely understand this next coverage is a little bit safer. So here's how you'll do it. So you're setting everything up kind of starting out the same, but what we're going to do is we're going to put a cover two side on the left. So we're going to play cover two to the short side. Typically we're going to combine that with a Mabel concept, just like this right here. Now on the wide side, what we're going to do is we're going to drop that little three rec hook zone. And then we're going to take, this guy right here, Redman, and we are going to um, we are going to do. We can ban him up. We can still do that. Um, but what I like to do is I like to go ahead and put Holman into a hard flat, and I'm going to put um, Redman into a seam flat. So it's basically Mabel coverage. And what this is going to do is this is going to do a little bit better against those cover those cover two uh, type of situations. You know, whenever they have stuff like that this is gonna be a little bit more effective. And so what you'll see here is that this post route that's supposed to be super, super glitchy is gonna run right into three players, okay? And so that's the beauty of this defense. This defense is the best defense in the entire game. If you wanna get the full nickel 335 wide defensive guide, it is in the description of this video, but this is kind of the way you wanna do it. Essentially what you wanna do uh, from a zone drop perspective, and again, this is, again, you, you change it based off tendencies a little bit, but those are kind of your default zone drops that 
what you want to do is you want to drop that three rec over there. You want to make sure that you have a Mabel concept on the white. You always want to have Mabeling to the wide side of the field. On the short side, you can kind of get innovative. And, and again, if you're trying to get yourself a plus one defender, um, that's where I really like the cover two to the wide side of the field. I actually think it works a lot better than people realize and you can have a lot of success. And even if you wanted to, you could just man up the circle receiver. And then, you know, if they try to streak the R1 receiver up the seam, you can go get it. You can do all of those things. And you'll see right here, the deep half will take that away. Um, so very, very good defense in my personal opinion. And again, if you haven't gotten the full guide, it is in the description. Uh, tomorrow, we're gonna talk about um, man, man coverage. Uh, so far, we talked about run defense, match defense. Today, we talked about zone drops. Tomorrow, we're talking about man defense. And then the last, lastly, we're going to talk about how you can actually go about getting some pressure from this formation and putting pressure on your, uh, your opponent. So thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to get the full defensive guide that has video breakdowns of this, written setups, and film study analysis, it's in the description. You can get that for just $15.